think we should do this one like yeah. like we normally do. It's a gold coast of gold coast of gold coast of gold. In the words before monkey, primal chaos reign. G'day, 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 g'day viewers, this podcast is brought to you by Koala Karma, with a chill out drink. Sit back, relax and... Enter a battle of the bands. Ooh. We want to thank 14, well no, we've got 12 bands entering tonight and we've got a great show for you, the first ever battle of the bands we've ever done and uh, starts off Rocky, starts off pretty <laughs> wild. Well, well, you know, it's new to us. Yeah. It's new to them. We're all, it's all, we're all being virgins. Did you have a good time? I did. I, I really enjoyed what we listened to yeah. because if they're not i mean like dog dog's band i mean is he is he pro or amateur oh, he you know dogs from the ballistics yeah and um so we'll call him pro pro as yeah so so it's like a little bit of an unfair advantage there but the other ones like they're all amateur right they're all they're not yeah well, well dog would agree with us, music has to line up with fashion, the time, the sound, the shoes you're wearing. Yeah, I'm like just everything thinking, has to line up. So you like, but I'm just thinking that because at, like this podcast is brought to you by Koala Kama by, is, um, you know, like it's not, uh, it's not like we've got a million viewers and you know all these. People knocking on our door to sponsor us or everything. So, so we're quite, you know, like your backdoor kind of podcast, even though we're trying to get – we're the hardest working podcast in Australia. But, you know, and for the quality that's come in to this podcast, I thought was oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure um, – I don't know any other podcast that has a Battle of the Bands – I think it's a. I do in America. No, but that's even for sure. But I. But but don't you think like the quality of these bands? Yeah. Was it was they were good. Oh, great. Yeah. I think every single one of those songs actually that we've heard tonight could be on a record. I mean, I like uh, on the all. radio. So, I want to thank everyone for entering tonight. We'll explain it all. We have a really rough start because we uh, set up this studio here. With great setup for a couple of hours and <laughs> and everything's done after work. The reason we're the Australia's hardest working podcast is because. Every single person on the show tonight has a real job. <laughs> and can I just say something, though? What? It was so funny. Because like, we all took it quite... <laughs> we yeah. Did, didn't we? well, we've been coming to this room every night for so many years that... <laughs> but I didn't think we... Re- or I don't think any of us realised it was going to take over three hours to do what we wanted to do. Whoa. <laughs> did we? Uh, yeah, I think so. Anyway, you, you thanks were- for tuning in. Okay, please, can I, I go put this word out now, um, because we don't often say it, but um, it means a lot if you subscribe to our show on iTunes and you rate and review it. The way iTunes works, it listens to that stuff. So, we will stay on top. (laughs) Next week's week's show is going to be great with Ellen Briggs, legendary comedian, um, and a side note, is her husband, Alex Briggs, has been Valentino Rossi's Number one mechanic, <gasps> mechanic. for is 14, it, oh, 15 years Can now. we have him on one day Well, he's too? coming. No, but here's the thing. He's, he's coming. He'll be sitting on the chair. But, Audience. But I promised Ellen that it's all about Ellen because she, <laughs> she lives a life of everyone going, oh, you're a comedian. So how's – what's Alex like? Was he a good guy? <laughs> you know, how's Valentino? You know, you know, so I think that's hilarious. Well, it's she thinks he's hilarious. She's such a good person. So. Anyway, okay, okay. Anyway, thank you. Oh, is he oh, – we live as? I think you should be in the middle, okay. though. And boom. I think you should Episode be. Episode 206 of the Gold Coast West True Crack Podcast Show. Brought to you by Koala Khan with a chill out drink. Sit back, relax, and holy fuck. What a shit yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> what no, hey, but we've done, night? we've done good. Oh, you You're going to be in have. this soon. Um, we've done, we have done real good because what we've done here is... Uh, we struggled through some problems, sure. 
We've we've rearranged our studio. Are we live on, div- on uh, any uh, streaming? No. Oh, we can't. Yeah. No, that's right. So we've been arranging the desks all night to um, sort out a better lighting sort of stuff. And I think Matt G, that I was right in the end. Look at these great shots we're getting. No, Drew, you were entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to say it right now. Oh. This podcast is brought to you by Koala Karma. The chill out drink. Yep. Sit back, relax, and. I oh, know we've done that. But I just want to oh. say <laughs> hello to the beautiful Ricker Waters. To me all night. Really? Yeah. You've been so ditzy tonight. Like it's been a next level of like wow. Like, it's incredible. Really? It really, guys, who's in the room? Matt G. Evening. Uh Aaron Brunner. <laughs> Can you say something? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. Craig. <laughs> Hands up. Craig from Revive Cardinal. Can he- we get Who's Craig? in the audience? Uh, oh, hands yeah. up. Who thinks Ricker was completely very ditzy <laughs> tonight on another level? Oh, what? Oh, it's, it's I'm not, I'm not sure Ricker was. That's I'm not bullshit. sure Ricker was on her own on that though. Oh, you bastard! I'm See? You fascist you. bastard! <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. No, I was fucking busy doing putting shit on iTunes. Trying to. Oh my god! Hey, what? No. On an Apple Mac, and I'm I'm a Windows person. I'm not dumb. I'm just a Windows person. It's Steve Jobs' fault. I'm just realising now we're sitting in a panel style thing. How uh, <laughs> weird it is, because no, we're not actually talking to each other for the first time. So I'm going to cheat this because we're not filming, are we? Are we filming? Yeah, we've got it. On we can put it to yeah. So we can put it yeah. to here later. So hey, thanks to everyone for being in this room, by the way, because we have to uh, pat each other on the back. Because we're, we're just here. We're doing something. While all those lazy, good-for-nothing, Gold Coast musicians especially, are <laughs> sitting back. How many bands do you think there are on the Gold Coast? Well, I hope more than 14. That's right. So what you're bringing up, Rick, is the first night of the Gold Coast first Drew Grunt, GC, Lightning Bolt DK, uh, Battle of the Bands 2018, the first one we've Woo-hoo! ever done. I don't think we've even got 14 entries. Jeez, oh, can you talk it up? <laughs> 1,400, 1,400 entries. Two, four, I, I don't even mind. What we've got is 14 of the best. Wow. I actually said to the bands on, the, um, the, best. on the Gold Coast uh, Musicians Facebook page, I think, I said, uh, I was a smart because I've been in so many bands, like, get your laziest member of the band to send in that one song. <laughs> right? Because you don't know lazy until you've been in a band. You don't know... <gasps> Well, you're in a team. You find out what uh, speaking from experience. The worth. Yeah, you find out the worth of of a a, a team. What's? Oh, I want to say something, but I don't. Fucking say it. Do you want to say something? <laughs> no, you say it. So, you just but it's a it. really seeing we are. This is a band. Um, <laughs> you know, our, our guests are ourselves tonight, so which is pretty fun. And I don't mind talking trash to bands tonight because. It's just funny if if you had every single member, right? We're all in business here, right, guys? If you have um, everyone yeah. fighting the same fight that you think you do, then um, like every single minute of the day, Matt G, right? You got the greatest photography studio on the Gold Coast, right? If if your dog, what's your dog's name? Muppet. If it knew Muppets. bloody Google AdWords, <laughs> yeah, <gasps> yeah. We didn't set up Google. Hey Google. Good. Good. <laughs> Hey, Google. Maddie hates Google. Oh, no. Google's anyway, dead. Anyway, forget about that. Um, what, what I'm here to me. say is it's funny. It's funny no. how, how, how people can just sit on, on lounges and stuff when... Um... Anyway, enough of that negativity. What we've got tonight is the first heats of the Battle of the Bands. And let's li- uh, read out the uh, competition, uh, the winners, what's, what you'll get out of the, the competition should you win. $500 cold hard cash. Um, a uh, photo shoot Where's at Matt G. G Photography. Did I say that? Yes, yeah. yes, you were drunk. Yeah. And a, every member of the band will go to uh, Lumber Punk's Axe Throwing. <gasps> yes, that's Which is the right. greatest thing we've done that. And, um, what and else voice we got? coaching from... From Matt Tenpin Boland. That's it. Formerly of Rollerball, now in Outshined. And I can vouch that he is one of the greatest singers there that's is. That's a massive award. I think so. I think so. For pulling it you know, clean out of our, 
their ass. And, That's a and, great thing. And look at the competition. It's one out of 12. Like, it's not even that hard of work. And you're getting no. $500 cash, a voice coach from yep. Maddie. Yep. Photo shoot, by the way. Photo shoot from Matty G Studio. I kid you not, I've been in so many bands where uh, you you go, let's get a photo shoot, and you're always using someone's girlfriend, or and all the photos are always crap, you know, because only certain people can actually take a photo. You, you'd be lucky if you get onto one. So it's really, I would put that down you a four or five hundred dollar gift. Oh, do you think? Oh, it's a bit late to change that, isn't it? Because I was thinking, no, I was thinking that because. This is our first ever. And, you know, these people actually went to, out of their way. What are you talking about? You recorded doing that. <laughs> <What are> you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Logan. <laughs> no, well, I was thinking, like, can't we make a first prize, second prize and a third prize? Because, oh, I guess we can't. No, it's too late. Oh, because no. I, I don't know. I just want the very do first. Hey. Now, well, what's going? What this is going to happen? By the way, there's 14 bands tonight. We're going to do 12. four. There's 12. 12. Is it? <laughs> okay. Well, there might be more. I couldn't find them in your email. No, you're right. You said 12. So there's four bands. There's going to be four songs we play tonight. We're going to do the last minute of every band, and we decide who is the, uh, the song we like the most out of these songs, and they will transfer to the semis. So we've got 12. So that means we've got next four weeks. Of, of choosing our top four, yeah. right? And then our semis. Next three weeks. And Aaron Brunner. Look at him. Can everyone just look at him? He's sad tonight, man. What is it? You know what? Oh, can can I... you tell us what's going on? Oh, I'm just a bit tired. Man. Well, he only yeah. flew in from Mackay this morning. Yeah, but it's bloody two hours away. It's nothing. But he got to the airport an hour early because he missed his plane up there. Do you want to talk, man? Yeah. On Live on a podcast? Yeah, I am at the moment. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing getting you down? No, no. no. Oh, good. How's your balls? Yeah, very good now. <laughs> really? Are they yeah. radio? Hey, stitches. Oh, you got no. stitches over there? Stitches. Is that a scar? Yeah. yeah. You kind of like have an appendix scar. Yeah. How, but how long is that? Um, 10 centimetres. It's Jesus. a cesarean scar. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, you all right, man? Yeah, I'm good. What about you, Craig? You okay there? Happy Not too bad. We're all drinking. We're going to thank Lost Palms. We're drinking some beautiful Lost Palms beer tonight. How about you, Matt G? I drank the beer. Are you acclimatising to uh, this chilly Gold Coast winter? God, oh God, yeah. We, we, we're getting fire put in. I told you. What did you just say? We, we, we're getting a fire put in because it's so bloody cold. Oh, yeah. Fire. Yeah, you told us that last Beautiful. week. Yeah. No, the week before. Well, here's to you, Gold Coasters. Uh, see, I don't want all the pressure put on me for this, um, this, uh, this rough episode. Because it is an awkward sort of change of positions. Can I um, ask you a question, positions. Can I ask you a question? Because there's only 12 bands. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but like... Okay, so isn't that person your friend? No. <laughs> well, you're right, no. What about this person? No, not, not a friend. I have one... Well, acquaintance. Uh, two Two legit friends in this competition. But that's where we've got well, five I've people got, in the room. I've got two legit friends and I've got this person who I've spoken to indirectly. Yep. So I'm just thinking that like maybe... Benny, follow the fox. Let's, let's read out now the entrance in this competition. Yeah. Can I finish what I was saying though? Go. <laughs> no. <laughs> All I wanted to say was because... Of that, even if these people that, you know, we know quite well do really well. Can you talk in the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> even if they do really well, like, it might come across like where, you know, there's a bit of favouritism going on there. So maybe we'll give the opportunity to the <gasps> listeners so they can vote as well so it evens things out a bit. Yeah. No? Well, maybe. Let's let's get through the, the heats and everything and, and sort that out last time. Well, okay, that sounds well, like don't, something don't that hate us. Do. Don't hate us because we love our friends. Well, I think it's it's going to be pretty obvious to everyone what's good and what's bad, you know? And we've got the uh, ability to talk about why we do or don't like the sound off. of that song. And okay. I'm going to say right. to my mates, okay. just <laughs> be better. Because <laughs> no doubt they've already said that shit to me. 
Yeah. True. That's true. All that stuff you do, nah, be better. Anyway, can everyone just shake it off? You're all looking at me. Can we just get off the... Uh, just waiting for a song, Drew. There is no bloody... <laughs> no, we're going to read out the, uh, the bands Are we going to read out the list? No, we're not... What? We are? <laughs> Battle of the Bands. Oh, this is the worst show again. <laughs> We're getting so bad. No, you're right, doing the, you're doing the our name first entrant. Okay, Chloe Violet. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, her Chloe Violet's our band name is Dowsy or Doozy, Doozy. And the song she entered is Ophelia. And then we've got Tokyo Beef with Rock and Roll. Uh, Mojo Native. Ready or not. The Silencio. Been there all along. We've got Ruby. Never really was love. Why do these people have this? <laughs> they've got they've they've got their own name, and then the the name of their yeah. act is actually another name. That's well, cool. that's what I right, gathered okay. from the emails. So I might I might have got it wrong. And then we've got Peter Zanti. Um, Crimes of the Heart. <laughs> then we've got Greasy Belcher. Never gonna die. <laughs> Next up, follow the fox. Rush you. Oh, that's a cover. That's not an original. That's a cover. That's a Baby Animals cover, yeah? That's correct. Dexter Pendleton's Trainwreck. With Rural Ruin. Cactus Dildos. Spunkin. Coastal Lights. Timeless. And King Louie. Snake Skin Boots. Oh, yeah, we chose that one, didn't we? Just from the name. We that's haven't right. even listened to it yet. Yeah, they gave us a whole record. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am feeling a lot of pressure from you guys in the room. I'll tell you. So let's let's try and shake you know it up. Why? Let's, you know let's, why? You know why? Because we're ourselves. facing them. We don't usually yeah, face them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Them. So let's let's yeah. uh, let's work some mani- ma- magic. magic between us, right? And and boom, we're back. All right. First, <laughs> oi, guys, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for the first uh, band of the night for the year? What a stress, but it has come down to Coastal Lights, the very first song, and they've uh, interestingly uh, already given us the minute. That's good. That's Here good we go, and their song is Timeless. Timeless. Be bloody better be good. Follow directions. Whoa, 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 whoa. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you know, um, you, you know what, what I like mean? about them? They actually read your poster and did exactly what you asked them to do. And I like that in people. Jamie I really Keys do. could work. So what was interesting, they put in a big guitar solo in there and the last chorus. I liked his, I liked his voice. Matchy? Yeah, it was a good start. Have you ever made a song? No. 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 Musically talentless. Yeah. It's not hard to make a song. But putting to, putting together, uh, uh, you know. What about you, Craig? That song? Yeah. I oh, only heard the last ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> we only heard the last Oh, part. really? It was good, though. Yeah. It was like, okay, what would you sound, um, sort of jingly jangly, cruising on the highway sort of gear? It sounded a little bit like a kind of heavier version of the Wombat. Oh, yeah? What was yeah. the big Wombat song? I don't let's, know the Wombat. Let's dance to Joy Division. Who was it? Yeah. Did it sound like Joy Division? I don't think yeah, it the, sounded anything like Joy Division. No, not Joy Division. The song by the Wombats was called Let's Dance to Joy Division. Let's dance to Joy Division and celebrate the irony. Everything is going wrong, but we're so happy. Let's dance to Joy Division. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my but, God. But, the, but the vocalist sounds the same. 
Let's, let's, let's hear the end of it again, right? Driving a car. Google where they are. Can you actually look up Coastal Lights now, if you mind? I actually it? like his voice, but yeah. it, it doesn't. It I can hear seems that in the radio. Like it could be a bit louder though, as far as you know what I mean. Like it sounded a bit. That's our stuff. Oh, is that? <laughs> That's us. Okay, this is why people who know nothing about music should not be judging people who send <laughs> in music. Oh, you're perfect. <laughs> now, let's talk about. I want to judge their picture. Okay, Coastal Lights. Let's have a look what they look like. They better bloody have a... I'm thinking, uh, uh, who was that band? Um, I can see, like, a, a sunset. <laughs> Coastal lights. A bunch of uh, lighting fixtures. <laughs> let's look up. Everyone listening, look up. Coastal lights together. Let's go. Here we go. Coastal lights. I guess they're Gold Coast. All right, who's got the worst internet? Here we go. What are you looking oh, at? What? What are we, and Coastal like, Lights Band. No, Timeless. Time. I wonder if they've released it. Here we go. Triple J on Earth. Up. Here we bloody go. Look at Timeless, these guys go. Timeless, a by Coastal Lights on Spotify. Triple J on Earth. All right. Bit of a buy. Oh, gee, we should have all sorted this out before. I know. Oh, mate, we can do it on the fly before. The indie pop rock. They've been on Triple J on Earth. Um, great song. All right, let's go on to the next one. No pictures of the band. That's what I'm trying to see here. Feel free to talk. Yeah, no, we should have. But you know what? I actually think we should. Here we go. I actually think we shouldn't have done our homework. You know why? Here we go. Because that would have influenced our decision. Oh, he's a cutie. Coastal Lights. Hey. Oh, that's the name. Can so you old mate playing a guitar bigger? there. Um... Looks like there's a little girl, a lady in the band. I said, old mate, playing the guitar. Who's that? Is that them? Is that, yeah, look, Coastal Lights, five That's piece by the looks. a cute looking band. They look so Gen Y. The girl up the they? back there. Oh. All right, off to a good start. Good work, Coastal Lights. Next band. I enjoyed that. I really did. I hate everyone in this room. I just want Why? to tell you right now. I don't know. You're not helping me. None of you. There's no one. There's just silence in this fucking room. And it's been like this all night. If you listen to this podcast and you hate it, okay, my so fault, let's mainly. Let's Tokyo Beef. Well, who's, no, who's Ophelia? Where is that song? That one. Okay. Dowsy. This next song is by Doozy. Dowsy. Is it Dowsy or Doozy? I reckon. I just spell it. But this is D-O-U-Z-E-Y. Well, here's the thing. Chloe Violet. Doozy. It's her song. Chloe Violet is a beautiful name. That's I a, know. That's a band name. But she's come out with her act. It's called Doozy or Dowsy. But uh, yeah, doozy. Chloe doozy. Violet. Yeah, it's a doozy. Of course, it's a doozy. But Chloe Violet is a gorgeous name, don't yeah. you think? All right. How do you spell doozy? D double O Z Y. Well, so not on this sheet. Apparently, D O U Z E Y. Chloe, I'm putting it out there. You got a great name. It might be in. Yeah? You know, it might be a tribute to somebody though. Is it a pet du- or something. Duozy. Oh, clever. No, because it's D-O-U. No, it's, it's definitely Dow. Do, like, oh. It's doozy, but it's D-O-U-Z. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear but it. But the song is Ophelia. All right, here we go. Uh, 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 how can I do this without messing it up? Bang, bang. Hang, <laughs> no. hang with me, hang with me, hang with me. Hang with me. <laughs> Should we dance again? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I like this. Me too. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it's like a poker. It's so different to the one we just yeah. listened to, isn't it? Oh, let's Google it. I love her. <gasps> yeah, I like her. That's quirky. That was slightly angry almost, like dark. That's my kind of woman. That's the kind of girl that I would uh, fall for and she'd ruin my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look her up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the creep in me wants to look up Chloe Violet. How about that? I can look up Dowsy. Come on, join and in. The song, your... And the song, I feel it. Well, see, if you let me have that in front of me, we could have just done it on that. Too busy burping. Here we go. Dowsy. Does uh, it have the Ophelia on it? Okay. Lots of... Oh, look at her. Here we go. We can actually see her play here. <laughs> <laughs> After we watch Darren Till. Here we go. Um, I wish Red Tube showed up. Just <laughs> spin it. Oh, she's cute. Purple hair. Oh, This is on YouTube, I guess. Look at that jumper. That's like a um, Christmas sweater. Yeah? She's cute. She's very, Let's get to the angry bit. She's very um, bar and bay, don't you think? No. Uh, you don't think? She looks cleaner. Does she? I reckon she's, she's picked that sweater. Actually, I actually picked at her to be like black hair. Me too. Yeah. Like, almost like um, Morticia. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's good. I liked it. I liked, liked it. it. Let's have a little, tiny little listen. She's got a very unique voice. For that middle like section. That. All right. Hey, okay. No, over to you, Matt. What do you think? Well, me, me, and, me and Rika were listening to that before, beforehand, just on the computer. Um, and we both hated it. And Only we, because I couldn't fucking then, download it. We both hated it through the through the um, through the computer's teeny little speakers, and I, I was I was prepared to hate it again. But um, oh, through the but we didn't get to hear her voice but either. The, but through the earphones, when you got a bit of bass to it, and it sounds like there's a bit more oomph to it. It sounded much much better. Yeah, yeah. I liked her voice. Yeah. I thought her voice was really unique. Like, she reminds me of not the same voice as Kate Bush, but the same uniqueness as Kate Bush's yeah. voice. Yeah. I was born in the same town as Kate Bush. We are. <gasps> Where are you? Devon. No. Is that you? Oh, no. Uh, that's Bexleaf in South London. Anyway, Bexleaf, that's right. Aaron Brunner, what do you think? Yes. Just like the music out of Townsville, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the beachy and, yeah. Did you say bitchy? Beachy. beachy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear myself because I have to myself. Sorry, mate. That's right. Um, no, no, it's me. It's not you. Um, Craig, what Craig. did you think? Well, I actually thought when it first started I couldn't stand to sit here and listen to three minutes of that. But yeah. after ten seconds it got better. After another ten seconds it got even better. Yeah, a little bit of... Yeah, it just got a little bit of something there. When she started it, singing it got better, yeah. It grew on me yeah. really quickly. I want to hear a tiny bit of it again, ready? You know what I hear? No, I've gone out. This is a oh, long time ago. I've gone out for the night. I've hooked up with uh, uh, some mysterious chick. And I've gone back to her place. And it's like four in the morning. And she puts on this music. And I fall a, like, I'm, whoa. You know what I'm saying? It's like dark, <laughs> brooding, just... like sexy sort of chick music. And, you know. I, you know, I love your like, stories. Like, what's this chick about? Drew, I love your stories. But can we just clarify... Where's the camera? Which camera am I looking at? This was <laughs> before he was married. Yeah, didn't I say that? No. no. You never do. <laughs> <laughs> before I l- ruined my life. 
Four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's my wife every week. It's great. No. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, George, I got nothing. I love your wife. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Jesus. I say all these <laughs> same things to her, so she knows exactly what it's all about. All right, all right, all right. Okay, for the next okay. song, if you're that, story oh, about can your I wife. tell you something now? Okay, um, GC versus DK relationship uh, problems starting tonight, right now. If you can't <laughs> handle your bloke speaking about some. Mysterious story that never happened about some night at four in the morning with some chick that wasn't even real. <laughs> if you fucking get uptight about that, it's your problem. It's you. You need to do something about yourself. <laughs> Bang. Next song. I'm going to actually hit that. Can I be honest? I think Drew's got his period. <laughs> I was going to say that about you. I'm glad you brought those words up. You're the one that keeps getting angry with all of it's, us. I feel like I do, but <laughs> I feel like you do too. It's like a Libran thing. We're talking to each other, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah? Are we oh feeling it, sister? God. All right. Yeah, me, me, me and Craig it's are, a full moon too. <laughs> me, me and Craig are okay. backing off. <laughs> don't shoot you I out. think Look it's your golden mic, at at Mr. Laws. <laughs> Look at Aaron. Oh, Aaron's definitely shit. got his period tonight. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. <laughs> it's a full moon. Do you know, do you remember? Oh, oh that's another story. <laughs> okay, the next band. <laughs> the song is Ready or Not. What's that band? That's from Mojo Native. <laughs> All right. His name is Peter. <laughs> Peter from Mojo Native. I sent that one in. Here we go. The song's called Ready or Not. Yeah. Uh, and if it sounds... Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. <laughs> I'll tidy this up and edit. Boom. Oh, it's a bit churchy, isn't it? I'm moving up. Church, ah. Oh. You know who he sounds like? Ian, fucking the cult, Ian. Mm-hmm. The voice. I thought it was like an offspring. Oh. Oh, let's hear, let's like, can we listen to it again? Yeah. I thought he sounded no, like the no, cult no. dude. No, don't listen to it again, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, let's just uh, check out a picture. Okay. Was that a saxophone? I hate the saxophone. It, what's wrong with the saxophone? I despise the saxophone. I know, I know oh, I, go. I shouldn't write an instrument. So, but, but what I, have you got against Lisa Simpson? Well, Lisa's lovely. Obviously, it's like her. But the, the, but the saxophone is a horrible sound. Well, I why? Why? I, I realise I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting off anyone, anyone in a band that <laughs> is ever going to do a photo shoot with me that, that plays a saxophone. But I, I, I just... Let's make them win. So it makes it completely <laughs> awkward for <laughs> Matt G in that photo shoot. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing. No, no, no. Love the saxophone. No, sorry, I was thinking of the clarinet. Um, <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah. That, five, are you ready now? Oh, it looks ready like or not? It looks like the singer is the uh, saxophone player. Look at that. Oh, it looks harder than me. I'm sorry. Hang on a minute. He's got a bit of a white jacket on there. They've got a... Uh, okay. Oh, they're a bit... A little bit the older. I reckon they, they would have got their inspiration from, like... Offspring yeah. and the cult, wouldn't they? Because it's that. That's I think he sounds like the offspring, but they're not going for the offspring. Oh no, they're not going for the offspring. Uh, I'm they're thinking more like. Uh, have they got that sort of um, a bit, a little bit of like um, '80s Aussie sound? Uh, who would you say? <laughs> Ryan Kenny and the X-Men. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 1972. No, is, is that Australian? Because our players wears a vest. Hey? Who wears a vest? I always look at a, at a um, oh, if someone in a band wears a vest, it's like, 
What do I wear? Don't know. Let's put on a black vest. I always do. Yeah, no. I've worn one before. And but that's like so 80s. It off. It's 80s swampy kind of, you know, the church, yeah. the stems. Yeah, you know, oh, he's like got a nice, that nice amp there. Okay. Come on. It's, it, have well, another I thought little they listen. sounded like the church in the beginning. I reckon. In the very beginning, I thought they sounded a little bit like the church. Okay, I reckon the last minute doesn't give them justice because they're pretty much just repeating the chorus over and over and over and over with that. Okay, line. so, we're so going let's give to us go. a little bit of uh, the. Uh, oh no 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 no! no. But Maddie doesn't like saxophone, so don't get any saxophone in. Is it better at the moment? Shift out of cruise control, yeah. Oh, he does. He sounds like an aspirin. He does. Come alive, the lost can be found. He doesn't sound like him there, though. I'm alive and bracing the sound. Hold on, it's mine, heard a lot. Are you ready now? I'm headed straight to the top, yeah. Are you ready now? Buckle down, this ain't gonna stop. Are you ready now? I'm headed. Can I be honest? I, uh, I like it. I think he's a great singer. Okay, I'll backtrack because I liked, I liked that bit. Yeah. And he did sound like the cult. He did sound like the he cult. Did sound, yeah. He did sound like the cult. Can I be honest? Yes, please. I think they're a good band. <laughs> but I think that that choice of song, I'd like to hear another song of theirs because it's like a dated kind of melody or something something about Look, the rhythm of that song. You saw their age, though. They're like a bit dated I know, themselves. It'll be... Uh, I'd be robbing everyone if I didn't... Uh, I want to take the piss a bit. That's it. I don't want... You know. But I'm saying of course. it. They sound like they're great. It's just the rhythm of that particular song sounds... Uh, we just had Ophelia before that. Sound like some new wave sort of... We've had three songs that sound absolutely, totally different. Don't exactly. Haven't Let's we? Let's competitions with Yeah. Hey, I'm not saying that it's gonna be they're not going to win. I'm just judge. saying that's my own personal opinion. Isn't and, it? And no one plays saxophone. And Drew keeps burping. <laughs> <laughs> it's his show. He's had dominoes. I've got to bend down like this. It's all squeezing all sorts of things. Would you like it. to use this one? I can use that because I'm shorter. No. <laughs> okay. hey, if we swap chairs again and you ask me where you're sitting again. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, you're such a cranky pants today. Okay. Hey, he's a cranky We're up to uh, song number four now. All right? I'm actually loving this. I'm really enjoying it. it. I'm enjoying it tons. Now, it's, it's unfortunate that the next song is actually our last... Uh, just for the, the way we... It was tough to actually set up these songs tonight to get it going after what we did tonight. <laughs> but the very next song is our last... The last podcast we did with Dog Williams and uh, Terry Stevens and their band, Dexter Pendleton's Trainwreck. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I burped. <laughs> <laughs> I did it at the same time, but you made the noise. All right. So, um, I sort of promised myself and him that I wouldn't play his song the very next episode to give us some space. So, uh, <laughs> shit, but here we go. But it's the first round of the whole four rounds. So first round of the Yeah, but yeah. okay. We've still got a lot of songs after yeah, this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They just, you just keep doing Can we get a shot of you, Aaron? We sure can. Look at him. <laughs> In that lonely <laughs> corner. <laughs> and off <laughs> Oh, that's great. I love it. Here we go. You better be good, Dexter Pendleton, with his song Rural Ruins. Ruin. All right, everyone oh, say ruin. Rural Ruin three times. Go. Rural Ruins. Rural Ruins. 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 <laughs> rural Ruin. Go, Aaron. Rural Ruin. Three, three times. times. Three times. Are you? <laughs> oh, you are so boring sometimes. <laughs> everyone say uh, Selfish Shellfish three times. Shellfish Selfish. No. Selfish, shellfish. Selfish, shellfish, selfish, shellfish. Real ruin, real ruin, ruin, ruin. It's impossible. What are you doing to us, dog? Points <laughs> deducted already. Yeah, here we go. Dexter Pendleton's train wreck. Real ruin. 
I'm gonna skip all this shit, right? He's given us a minute. Gave me a fade out. How about that? That I, I <laughs> they, enjoyed that. I didn't expect that actually, from him. That's <laughs> dark. That's broody. That's that's moody, brooding. Um, uh, Tezza with nice little uh, slide guitar in there. I want to put some shit on him, but it's hard. It is hard. <laughs> Well, it's hard to yeah. put shit on any of those. Is that we're all pretty good? Craig, you weren't here last week. Feel free to lay a big. Why do Australian singers sing with American accent? Oh, do you think that sounded parts? How do you know they're words? Australian though? That's being a bit judgmental, isn't it? Slightly racist. Presumptuous, well, presumptuous, because you they, they might Gold Coast bands. Well, they, we didn't say that they had to yeah, be born and bred Gold Coast, though. We just said people living on the Gold Coast, didn't well, we? Well, I, I, I can answer your question because he's right. The he's rains right. don't come round here no more. That's what you'd get. Yeah. Yeah, but so cool. <laughs> yeah, but no, but I agree with you like that. Shit, dog, you're missing out. You should change that. No, I agree with you because that, like, I'm a bloke, I'm an ochre, and I really love your knockers. <laughs> I'm a labourer by day. I piss up all my pay. It's very Australian sounding. It's a hot, yeah. It's become a big thing in, in Aussie hip hop. Yeah. I love it's it like that. It's really yeah. Australian and it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a good point. you got a good point. And um, uh, name me a band that... Okay, let's name an Aussie band that actually speaks with an Aussie accent. They all do. No, I mean with an actual... Um, Sing in, the, in their yeah. songs. In, in their songs. I mean, there's a... The stems well, used to. Because when the, when the words Angels? come out, there's a certain Did roundness. They? When you're trying to match the, the roundness of the music to the melodies and all that sort of stuff, it's natural but to... The church had a like a... Not to- one hundred, like not totally American. I knew. Yoffy you- Yindi. Let me know about the name because after that. How do you know it's not with an American? You know, uh, How yeah, do you know it's not good with point. an American? <laughs> good point. It could be Indian. Yeah. <laughs> it could be some guys right out there in the back of the, the outback going, you bloody sellouts. What about James Rain? What kind of accent is that? Because uh, that's not American, is it? What about the Angels? He was, he was he was American. This is it, folks. Over the top. This is it, folks. Over the top. Yeah, Matt. True. Yeah, Doc Neeson. Matt, Matt. Was that... that was the, the rains part. don't come round. Okay, red gum. Midnight oil. <gasps> Mum and Dad and Denny saw the passing out yeah. parade. Um, we're boring the piss oh, out what of Matt G that? right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about that... Um, oh, God. <laughs> up there, Kazaley. Only because he doesn't In know any of those songs. Bite. <laughs> That's Australian. Shit, I think we are coming up with something here. <laughs> if a, if a, a band were to come out and do what Aussie hip hop does, and by the way, by the way, what do we know? There probably already is a million of them. We just don't know them. Know them. But I wish they'd enter this comp. Oh, I wish. There's still yeah. uh, eight bands to go over the weeks, so maybe one of them will be like, "Fucking g'day, yeah, yeah, how you going, mate? <laughs> Can I have a bunger? <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah." Wouldn't you love it? Oi, oi. Wouldn't you love it if they did? Yeah. It's the next song we heard next week. Let's <laughs> <was> just... <laughs> okay. They what's, what's the most Aussie thing they could sing about right now in this day and age without doing the cliches? Um, oh, they can sing about Barnaby Joyce. And nah, too oh. big. Oh, bring it bloody down. <laughs> nah, something good. Something uh, real... Um, the Commonwealth Games? I went to Super Cheap Auto... 
<laughs> it's not as bloody cheap as it used to be. <laughs> Isn't that pretty much the advert? <laughs> All right, dog, you've got another chance. Let's let's hear a bit of it again. I do love it. There, Why did it but go here's the quiet? problem. Hey, let's look up the band. Can someone look up um what's that? It's my cat. <laughs> so wrong, your picture of your thing. Um let's my look up. Thing. everyone look it's up my cat. Dexter Pendleton's train wreck right now and see if these bloody lazy bastards uh, have made a uh, photo shoot. Okay. Yeah? But you guys just sit there. Oh, we'll friend. do it. <laughs> Look at Aaron, he's I'm bloody wedded, Facebooking. I'm not wedded to my phone in quite the same way. Okay. Dexter. Dexter Pendleton's train wreck. Dexter and I reckon it's uh, points off if they don't have a photo. What do you think? Because I've got to weasel out of... Um... <laughs> well, you've got to have some things in order. Am I right? Yeah. Dexter Pendleton's train wreck. Musical artist. Oh, record label, Vine Records. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alternative country albums, rural ruin. That's an album. Yeah, but it's the uh, title track too. Oh, okay. It's true. Now, <sighs> listen on Deezer. They've got shits of, shitloads of stuff on the internet. What about image search? Is there any uh, pictures there? Okay, they've got an apostrophe in the uh, Pendletons. That's a bonus. No grammatical errors in the. Uh... Oh, look at the picture that they. <laughs> oh, shit, <yeah. laughs> the picture this we found. Train. <laughs> Go Goose versus Drew Crack. Um, all right, see, see some images. Come on, guys. Okay, we've got the album cover. Oh, here we go. Here we are. Streets of Fear. There's, there's some pictures here. That looks like... Is that dog? It's YouTube. Okay, let's, let's click on a bit of YouTube here. I like this. Rick, we've been rubbing legs. <laughs> You know what, Aaron, this podcast Aaron should me and be Rick getting rubbing this. Legs for the first time. Aaron should be getting this <laughs> on, like... <laughs> Come on, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is on YouTube, Streets of Fear. Oh, look at that. Oh. Aaron's going to get it for us. No. No, no YouTube. I oh, know you it. It's got a bit, of, a, bit of, a bit of a video out there, okay. Oh. Oh. Half a point to dog. Half a point? Oh, they got oh, some stuff in there. That's good. Are we marking them? Are we... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, judges, uh, time to deliberate. Anyone, anyone, uh, does that, is it, fuck. Is there anything anyone wants to say about that song? Which, the last one that we just heard? Yeah. The one that you showed everyone? No, no, no. The real, real, real well, Let's talk one. about what we like as a band personally. I, okay, what did you grow up listening to? Everyone have a chance. Sean Cassidy. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? <laughs> yeah? Oh, we have, to, do we have to explain what cock rock was to Rika last time. Yeah. <laughs> you called me the cock rock queen. That's right, you're the cock rock queen, yeah. I'm the cock rock queen. Because you, you knew the White Snake were British. And Michael Schenker group. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who's that? Michael Schenker group. Yeah. Really? Don't know. Craig? Shippen, Victoria. ACDC. Good man. Good man. <laughs> Honest, bloody, good, yes. Yeah? What about anything else? Ah, oh, lots of them. Yeah? Metallica. All if you say Creed, them. I'm going to... No. Yeah, what is wrong no. with Creed? <laughs> Never. It's it's Creed. Are they doing the... Uh, it's like if a, I would, then I should, if I could. Is that Creed? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that Creed? What's wrong with Creed? Oh, it's a bloody haircut, so I don't know. It's something... <laughs> Something bloody, isn't he, isn't he with the, um, he's the paddle pop line. Back in the day, he had a haircut that was exactly like the ha- paddle pop line. <laughs> the paddle pop line. Yeah. Do you not know what that is? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to think, oh, like, what kind of question. hairstyle would... Is the paddle pop line still exist? Yeah. yeah. Sort of. 
Sipping well, watches TV yeah. anymore, do they? What are you, Aaron? If you say Aaron Brand, Adam Brand again <laughs> well, for the twenty yeah, fifth podcast Adam, in a row, does Adam Brand have anything in the top twenty? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Not main charts, but country charts. Country yeah. music charts, they oh, love him. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's Adam. And yeah. how many golden guitars have you got? Eleven or something? Golden uh, guitars or something? Twelve or thirteen. Ooh. Okay. Have you got his tattoos on him? No. On you? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's a Golden Guitar Award? It's like the, we, uh, the Gold Coast Music Awards. We've had Is recently like the Tamworth Country Music. Oh, the Tamworth one. Oh, it's been going forever. Okay. So it's a, I think that's another vote-style thing. Yeah. Like oh, no, that's just the that's industry? Sort of in-house sort of okay. thing. Um, CMC's more um, public voting sort of stuff. Okay. And he's got shitloads of those too. Right. So it's basically the top of the top. Keith Urban's got some and, and Adam and... Is Keith Urban, is Adam Brand on the same Shit, yeah. level as Keith Urban? Yeah. He's oh, home. really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I think Adam slays more birds nowadays, that's all. <laughs> Keith's <Hey>. tied down. <laughs> that's the only difference. <laughs> is that all? That's all. That's all, <laughs> yeah. That's true. Anyway, let's bring it back. So we've all had time to think. Did we all say a thing? My, okay, I'll give you my styles, right? Mm. Um... I've been in music a long time. I play guitar. Yeah. I like a good, clean uh, sounding. Which um, we listen to? We listen to sounding that thing. One. Definitely a, a Malcolm Young, ACDC. But but then there's all that. Uh, I got right into new metal. I got into uh, metal. But then I'm into um, uh, hip hop, like the streets and and this and that. But I tend to go for shit like okay, madness. From the UK, I love something that's like very—I call it like dry music. So it's it's a clean cut sound. It doesn't have a lot of um, reverb. You know, what reverb is. Mm-hmm. Like, so hello, hello, pota- hello. Pa- potentially the first band for me, uh, Timeless. For one minute. <laughs> we are so bad at this. It's incredibly great. I Who was the first was... band here? Uh, Coastal Lights Coastal with Timeless. They had uh, a real sort of dreamy, uh, driving down the highway song. I liked it. I liked it too. But I kind of think I might get bored with it quicker than the next song. Um, uh, Ophelia. Mojo Native, I know you're a great bunch of dudes and you're great musicians. I just know it. But that song didn't hit it for me. And damn it, dog. I thought that was just flat out cool. So I'm going to leave my actual choice last. So over to you guys, suckers. (laughs) Okay, well, out of out of those, out of those, well, I'm actually going to go Ophelia just for the um, the originality of it, because I. <laughs> oh, well, I thought it was different. It sounded different, you know. Different's always good. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> no one else wants to talk. Worse over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll jump in. <laughs> so, so number one, coastal lights for that. The yeah, first that, one, that, yeah. That, that was that was quite good. I'm, I'm not sure. I liked that one. I really did like that one. I liked his voice. I, I, I wasn't fully inspired, but it was pretty good. I could I could I could put it on for driving and stuff. The the uh, num- number three. What was that? Tokyo B, rock and roll. No. no, no, no. Uh, oh, they're ready or not? Ready or not the, from the, um, um, Mojo Native. Sorry, can't forget the saxophone. Uh, <laughs> num- number four was, was I, I liked that. Uh, probably wouldn't want to listen to a whole album though. Mm. Uh, so which means I'm going for uh, Ophelia as well. Ophelia. Craig? Mm. Well, I look at it. Which one would I want to listen to a whole album of? They're all good songs. I enjoyed all of them. But the one I'd probably be most inclined to actually go and buy and listen to a whole album would be The Girl. Ophelia! Yeah. Okay, that's Ooh. Ruby. Aaron. All the way from Townsville. Just because I've listened to everyone else's comments and I'm going to go with her as well. Yeah. 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 Just do, do you get the same thoughts as me? It's dark. Yeah. You're in the streets of Two Townsville. Two Townsville? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's. Uh, maybe it's. Sh- uh, well, okay, hands up if you've um, picked Ophelia. Yeah? So who was the other one? Um, uh, There's only one chick. 
Only one chick. Yeah, that's Ophelia. Oh, her name is Ruby? <laughs> or the band name Ruby? No, Dowsy. 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 Oh. That's the one I was thinking of. You're right, mate. Yeah. Dowsy. Her song was Ophelia. We're yeah. so good at this. <laughs> no, we're good at. We're going to get better. Four out of five of us have managed this. Yeah, we've, 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 we've worked it out. We're going to get better. That's the, how good. It's good to start bad because next week we're going to have lists and stuff. Can't I might get even worse. Bring them out. Exactly. <laughs> I love this. We might even get the name right. So hands up if you picked Ophelia. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't even need to choose. Sorry, dogs. Sorry to Mojo Native. And sorry to uh, Coastal Lights. Coastal Lights. Yeah. Clearly, great musicians. You cop out. And <laughs> choose. Uh, it choose. Is, it choose. Is Come on, dude. Who was your choice? Oh, man. Oh, oh, well, I'm going to say Ophelia. I really do think Dowsy's song um, was cool. Yeah. But also you get didn't in touch even and remember t- her girl name. Power. You thought she was Ruby. But yeah. also get in touch <laughs> and tell us whether you're Doozy or Dowsy. Or, or yeah. Duozy. Yeah, Doozy, Dowsy. But I reckon you go with Chloe Violet. All right. Let's, like let's rename her. If, if she happens to get through... Let's give her... But she name. might have a legit reason for doing that. She probably doesn't want anyone to know her real name. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what? Aaron's been already Facebooking on the real name. All right, okay. So, looks like uh, Dowsy, with the song I feel it, has carried over to the uh, semis. Congratulations to you. You're on your way to winning $500 cash. A photo shoot with Matt G. Lumber punks. Bring the purple hair. Uh, Lumber punks. Uh, you get the chance to go to Lumber Punk's axe throwing at uh, Mermaid Beach, which you'll love. And um, vocal coaching with the champion, Matt Tenpin Boland from Rollerball Outshined. I get sort of weird. Are we looking at that camera uh, now? No, no. That one. So everyone, <laughs> wait, everyone, get in. No, no, go back to the other shot. What? Get Everyone, get ready there. Hold your little gas lever. Craig, ready? One, two, three, Go. <laughs> what happened, Matt? Are you already down? Bum, bum. No, no, I'm just really tall. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. I'm glad we started so horribly because the show's got to go somewhere. So um, next week, I, I reckon we'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the list together. We'll tighten it all up, yeah. and we want to thank you. We hope that we've played your songs at least, so other people will. It's just us bums choosing. Um, Who's going to win this thing? So everyone's got an opinions, and I'm sure the people have heard They're this. They're all good, though. Like, Worldwide. Sure we'll chase up your names and your songs equally. So don't take it to heart that we took the piss and said whatever. So thanks again. Now, over to us. Is it still hot? I had my flu shot today. I'm hot. Yeah, too. It's hot. Yeah, who's got yeah. the old duva oh, duva? There it is. Is it ever turned on? It's not. Wow. Budget cutbacks. Well, let's play. Uh, let's play um, Ophelia's song. Should we do that? Can we do that? Or is that I've had favoritism? Enough. Should we now? Okay, I'm going to put it out to everyone. Should we now? This is a great idea. Should we now go back to Dowsy Doozy? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking change that name! I swear to God, Doozy, and tell her now to send us in another song. She's made the heats. This is a great idea. She's made the heats. Should she send us another song now? Oh, yeah, another song. For the semis? Yeah. Cool oh, idea, that's huh? That's a good idea. So, what, yeah. if we, what if we don't like the next song? She's already through. Well, you better start her, making some hits. No, but what if her it's next her song... What if her next song doesn't... Like, doesn't live up to the three that we just knocked back? <laughs> 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 well, yeah, that's the price you pay. We, we all know, though... Okay. Yeah. Well, she, I guess she's got a few weeks to actually write and record a new song. That sounds equally the same as the she last has, one. No, but she's got an awesome, awesome, like, uh, like unique voice, you know. Can I tell you? It I'll, would be nice to hear yeah. that in a different song. It would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. How good is that? Come on. Oh, did you feel that? Can I tell you how ridiculous I am? You, we know when I said we we're, were talking about the, um, yeah, the first song from Coastal Lights, I thought, oh, it's like a, a great... Um, Driving down the highway, you know? Yeah, like I, a... I see that stuff. So I was asked um, to judge a Battle of the Bands last year. And I'm so ridiculous and it's so embarrassing, but I ended up over the four hours listening to 10 or 12 bands. You know what I wrote? <laughs> I honestly wrote out things like this. Loved your stuff. I wish you were wearing a blue shirt instead of the <laughs> stupid white shirt, like my stupid white shirt. Oh. Right? Uh, honestly, I would... I. 
I would do that. So I actually see, it's like I can see. So I want to say to Dowsy, I wish she did have black hair. Like I, I wish her, her look matched what I see in my mind. Like her, I can even see her, she's in a cemetery. It's all black and white. Except for red. How do you do that with that effect? It's the morticia Where there's just some red and, the, and everything else is black and white. You know that film effect? Photoshop. Easy. Oh, shit. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. Who do we know that can make a video for our... Oh, what another great idea. Whoever wins this will convince someone. Maybe... Gr- oh, no, we can't get him. He's entered. Um... Someone to enter this thing. I'll put it out there if anyone happens to be listening. And if you do like to make video clips, you have to make a video clip of the winner of this competition, but it has to be in the style that we think it should be in. Like, you know, if I'm thinking, yeah, she's in a cemetery, black and white, red lips, right? Black hair. What else do you think that she should... <laughs> Let's hear a tiny bit of it again. What do you see when you hear it? Ready? Kissing Ricca. What's this bit? Coming out of a swamp. Wait, she's coming out of a swamp. Yeah, I'm not shitting you. Mud and you should come down. Ah, some crows. Castle. Castle in Paris. A white stallion. In a castle in Paris. In a graveyard. That's expensive, isn't it? Yeah. That's expensive for this show. Yeah, what do you reckon? I reckon. Can you see it? That's what makes it fun. Okay. Yeah. Who's up? Who's in? I, I love her voice, though. Me Just too. Just listening to that again. Me too. So, good work. I'm glad we did this and... Um, uh, thanks for tuning in. I think we'll. Are we going to pull this show up now? <laughs> <laughs> it's your show. Believe you me, we started off so rough in this show because we've done a lot. A couple of hours setting this table up and messing around and deciding uh, what we should do. Look, this show. look, everyone, look there. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I want to thank you for subscribing. We want to thank you for tuning into this show. Um, it's only going to get better. All these videos. We want to thank Aaron Branner for sitting over there in the dark. Let's have a look at him. No, you can't, because that's the kid of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh how'd that happen? Oh, yeah, you changed it. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, I can't. So, thanks, Aaron, man, for that's sitting so out there. Um, yeah. Thanks, for Craig, for coming in, help us out. Thank you, Matt G, as always, mate. I love you. Didn't take any photos. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, because you were busy being guests. Yeah. That's okay. And, Can Ricka? we take some now? <laughs> <laughs> Rika, thank you once again. You are the sunshine of the moon. All right, what are we going to sing on the way out? Ready? Um, can I tell you what? For some reason, when I go to the toilet in the mornings, right, I sit there, and when I'm finished, I get up and I go, uh, um, what's that song? What's the California song with the great harmonies? All the leaves are brown. The, only, the greatest show in the world. This show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, seriously, thanks for uh, listening and thanks for tuning in. We may put this episode up. I'm sure we will on iTunes and all the rest uh, at one stage. So thanks, everyone, for coming in. Over and out. Out. Ah.
Skills. I teach lessons in regressions, but I sure don't pay the bills. What the hell we here for? Record companies keeping score, trying to get those shiny plant trophies on the office wall. Pumping up the hits to feed the media blitz. Now watch the swollen champs blow the champers on the bikini clad tits. Busting through a banner backstage, high five, and then we pray to God before we. 